Hey everyone, I'm Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage. I'm a dressage trainer, instructor, competition judge, and USDF bronze medalist. Today I want to talk to you guys about hooking up your trailer and backing your trailer all by yourself. Recently I took a poll on Facebook to see who could hook up a trailer, haul a trailer, and back their trailer by themselves. And there was an alarming percentage of equestrians that could not do this. I think it's really important for everyone, especially horse owners, but even if you don't own a horse and you work at a farm, uh, for every equestrian to know how to hook up their horse trailer, haul and back their horse trailer all by themselves. So it's important, of course, that you know how much your truck can haul, what kind of weight. It's important to know how much your trailer weighs and your horses weigh so that you're using all of the proper equipment. Um, that's first and foremost. You also need to make sure that your hitch is strong enough and can tow this weight. So I'm going to pretend that I do not have a backup camera in my truck. I do, but I'm gonna pretend that I don't. I'm also gonna pretend that I'm all alone. You know, when you do this and you hook up your horse trailer and you have a friend, you know, they can tell you left, right, a little further back, stuff like that. But I'm going to pretend that I'm by myself hooking up my horse trailer. So the first tip is to put a piece of duct tape, or if you're in a truck, maybe a piece of wood, right in front of your hitch so that you know where the middle is and you're not having to guess. So I've got a piece of duct tape in the middle of my right above the hitch. I also have another piece of duct tape on my horse trailer, right in the middle, where I know is the middle. So when I get in, I'm gonna try and back my truck up to the middle of my trailer, lining up the two pieces of duct tape so that I know that it's straight. Because if you're doing this by yourself, you don't wanna to have to get in and out of your truck a hundred times, that's really annoying. <laughs> but it takes practice, so that's okay if you do. So why don't we go ahead and get in the Jeep and we'll uh, try and get everything lined up and ready to go. So we're in my Jeep and I've got the duct tape ready. So I'm going to try and line up the two pieces of duct tape so that I can get very close and hook up my trailer. So once you have everything properly and safely hooked up, just walk around your truck and trailer one more time. Test out your lights, both turn signals, and make sure they work. Make sure that your electricity is connected. Make sure no debris is around, nothing still hooked up, um, that your um, chalks or your um, pieces of wood or whatever you're using are removed. Make sure everything looks safe, your tires look good, and everything like that so that you can have a safe trip. So now I'm going to back my trailer into my parking space. The key is to go really slow and uh, don't make too many drastic turns when you're trying to keep your trailer straight and back up. So as you can see, I have my trailer up that way and I'm going to back up very slowly through straight back into my parking space here next to this big trailer and try and get lined up so that I'm straight.
guys got something out of seeing me hook up my horse trailer, just remember that safety is extremely important and that when you're backing your horse trailer or just hauling your horse in uh, going straight, try and go slow, take your turns very wide, take your time, spend some time uh, without a horse in the trailer, getting acclimated to hooking everything up, uh, driving it straight, and backing it without a horse in the trailer so that you can um, take your time and not be rushed and, and not have to worry about what your horse is doing in the trailer. But this is going to be a very valuable way to spend your time getting really good at all of this stuff, hooking up, driving your trailer, and backing your trailer. Because you never know when you're going to need to take your horse somewhere. And uh, when you add the element of stress of uh, having to hook up your trailer by yourself, if you're not familiar with doing that, it just makes things 10 times worse. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like it, share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!